receiver John Brown missing his fourth consecutive game. Gabbert under pressure. He was able to get rid of it as Ryan Kerrigan was in his face. Threw down. Again, the turnovers have killed this team all year. First and 10, 17 yard line. Larry Fitzgerald unable to hang on. Again, Gabbert was under intention. Get the ball out to Larry Fitzgerald working there in the slot on Kendall. Fuller, and it's rough start for the Arizona offense right now. Penny in the backfield. Off the fake, here comes Kerrigan. Fitzgerald makes the catch, picks up a first down as he looks to hurdle Josh Norman. So Larry Fitzgerald gains 11 and gives a pat to the helmet of Norman, extending his streak. Now has a reception in 209 consecutive games. Well, no surprise, and this is just a nice route, sub route really by Larry Fitzgerald. You see this a lot out of the Arizona Cardinals with Blaine Gabbert at quarterback. They like to get him on the edge of the offense, let him use his athleticism to create opportunities to pass game. And man, that's a great picture. Larry Fitzgerald at that advanced age still able to get over Josh Norman. Wow. 33 yard line, eighth play of the drive for the Cardinals. Wide receiver screen to Fitzgerald, but it did not fool a guy that you love, Rondé, Kendall Fuller. Oh, how do you not love Kendall Fuller? We've had a couple of games of Washington, and every time you see these little screens, he's making tackles on them. This is hard to do, to get past a blocker that's right in your face, and he holds Larry Fitzgerald to a gain of less than a yard. Well done. And he's got four interceptions on the season. He's probably been their most consistent player in the secondary, and I think they really love his development in this second year. They sure do. Out of Virginia Tech. Second down and 10. From the 43-yard line off the fake to Williams. Gabbard over the middle. Hits Fitzgerald for a first down. His third reception. That is number 90 on the season. He gains 14. Extending his NFL record. Eighth different season with at least 90 receptions for the great Larry Fitzgerald. Oh, and that's awesome. And give a lot of credit to Blaine Gabbert there because he is a fast ball thrower. Sometimes he lacks the touch, but when you have a guy like Larry Fitzgerald, now eight 90 reception seasons, that's just awesome. He's a comfort for his quarterback. Well done, Larry. Did your first ballot. Ball of favor, no question about it. First and 10 from the 29. This is Williams trying to cut to the outside. Josh Norman made the initial contact. That's one thing you like about Josh Norman. He's been up and down in coverage a little bit this year, just as I've watched him. He's still an elite player, but I love his toughness. You know, he's not one of those corners that's going to sit outside and, you know, kind of push, uh, you know, maybe handle and not try to come up and tackle. He puts his face on people and gets people on the ground. Tackle. And he had time. Larry Fitzgerald had Josh Norman. How great is this? He's not wearing that logo cape on his shirt for no reason. How about that? Between snaps, before he goes into the offensive huddle. He's a great man. Second down at seven. Little stutter step from Williams, and then it's Josh Norman who celebrated his 30th birthday on Friday. Norman comes up to make the tackle. Well, offenses love to ask questions of corners. Put them on an island and say, are you going to make a tackle? Josh Norman clearly is not scared to put his face on people and make tackles. That's the second one we've seen in one-on-one -on -one situation where he gets a guy to the ground. You call that a business decision, right, Ron? <laughs> yeah. He's not scared to make business nope. decisions. He's made, he's made some pretty good business decisions over the course of his career. Yes, he has, as you did as well. Third down and seven from the Redskins, 22. Again, they keep it on the ground with Williams. Williams is inside the 20, down to the 17-yard line. This is great patience by Kerwin Williams as a runner. See Ryan Kerrigan trying to spin out of this double team and just can't get him. But to be able to take your time in the backfield, wait for that hole to develop, and Kerwin Williams has the ability. He's got the speed and quickness and lateral. Albert steps up and throws. It's Fitzgerald. Close to the marker. Timeout taken by the Cardinals. Well, he's right on top of the, our yellow line. Self-imposed. It's unofficial, but he... Yeah, he then, he then he came back yeah, to make he, the catch. Absolutely, Kenny. I think you're absolutely right. He cleared the line to gain, but had to come back to catch it. I think he's going to be just a step or two short. 
Hit to Larry Fitzgerald, pick up the first. The ball will be moved back a quarter of a foot. It will be fourth down. Gabbard on first down. Fires to the end zone. No flags. Ron Brown, the antenna receiver, Norman defending. 13th attempt on third down. Cardinals are 4 for 12. It's DJ Foster, and he will not get there. Great job by Kendall Fuller. Well, you talk about the interceptions, and they jump out to at you. Four interceptions for a slot guy, but it's these things. Kendall Fuller right here making tackles on crucial situations, situational football, third down. He has to go over the pick, the natural pick, to make that tackle. Another Job well done by the young corner. One of four Fuller brothers. <laughs> Kirk and his son Cooper, they watch film together. Here's Kerwin Williams. Out of a yard. Kendall Fuller, the tackle. Dean on third down. Cardinals must get to the 35, and that pass gets batted back. So the Cardinals will punt it away. They go three and out. Well, the Cardinals, look, they leave six guys in here. Good pickup by Foster originally, but... Sliding across the formation there. That was Anthony, Anthony Lanier, Lanier again. That pass is deflected. It was intended for Fitzgerald. Cardinals have not won back-to-back -back games this season. As Gabbard throws, and there's Fitzgerald. His first catch since late in the second quarter. His fifth today, 24 yards, a Cardinals first down. Well, Larry Fitzgerald working in the slide. I want you to watch this move. This is what vets do. Sticks him inside. Got Kendall Fuller looking in the backfield. Eye discipline's bad on that play. Next thing you know, Larry Fitzgerald's gone, and Blaine Gabbert puts up a strike right in his chest. Big gain there for Arizona. He's now 18 yards shy of one foul. Bird down in three. Gabbert steps up, throws through the hands of Fitzgerald. A flag comes in. Now a second penalty marker is thrown. And the flag is going to be a hold on Kendall Jenner and Larry Fitzgerald just running a skinny post and, or Kevin Fuller, I'm sorry, and, and Larry Fitzgerald gets dragged just enough. Pass interference, defense, automatic, first down. It was a close one, Kenny. I, I'm not sure that it was pass interference because Kendall Fuller was going down on the ground and the ball was high. Larry Fitzgerald wasn't able to reach up to get it anyways. If there's contact there, it's very minimal. Here, third down and 10. Gabbard throws, and this one is broken up by Kendall Fuller. Kendall Fuller's day up and down. Yes, he's had a pass interference, but he's working on Larry Fitzgerald. You've got to be able to make these plays in crunch, crunch time. And they put together a little nifty little route combination trying to get some room for Fitzgerald but Kendall Jenner's all or Fuller's all over this I keep saying Jenner I don't know he's on, why she's on my mind right now You're thinking about the Kardashians <laughs> good play by Fuller again this will be the 80th play for this Cardinals offense the Redskins defense has kept them out of the end zone it comes down to this fourth down and ten Gabbard throws oh, what a catch. Fitzgerald oh incomplete came out Kendall Fuller defending it now. Three flags. Swearinger took off his helmet. Let's see if that's why the flags were thrown. Oh, boy. It was an incomplete pass, but let's see if the Cardinals get an opportunity after Swearinger removed his helmet. After the play yep. was over. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Number 36, taking his helmet off. First down, Washington. After the Super Bowl. Kenda Fuller again, working on Larry Fitzgerald. And I thought he had caught this football. It was in his hands, but it's DJ Swearinger, the last second, coming in, knocking this thing out before he can re-grip it. So close. You got to give credit to this Washington defense. Three times in a row, they had to make big plays. Fuller with two of them. DJ Swearinger there. And they're going to squeak away with a victory here at home.